Hello folks, this is Peter and today you're going to be showing a Total War Rome 2 Rome campaign. Now before you leave realising this isn't right at the beginning, this is right at the beginning, just two turns in. The first crash I had with the game happened with my 30 minute, well 15, 20 minute recording into the first campaign and I couldn't actually recover that file and I'm very unwilling to start again because of what's happened so far and because I frankly I'm just tired of starting again because of crashes etc. So getting into it, all that's happened is I've taken Velithri with that army and and I've um, started establishing a very good dipl diplomatic presence along the Greek and northern coasts because I don't ex intend to expand up there anytime soon. So if I'm getting some trade and some good kind of non-aggression packs, alliance agreements with these folks, that means I can focus my attentions elsewhere down and conquering in terms of conquering Africa, moving around this way and then eventually thinking about maybe Spain um, and other places. So west and, uh, west and south, good. Uh, north and east bad. Well, in terms of like where I want to go, at the moment we're at war with the Etruscan League because that's where Rome starts off uh, at war with. So we've taken the first place for that Velathri. They've got two places left: Ariminum and Alalia. So we're gonna quickly crush those two flakes as well. As you can see, my navy here is on its way around, and that's purely to try and, and discover a few more provinces and factions around here to try and get some of these dip diplomatic relations going. After they've gone up there, I'm going to send it around here, basically just everywhere to try and find loads of factions to try and have make lots of friends um, early on, because those trade relations are going to give you so much money in the later on in the later game. It's worth doing. Right at the moment, we've got some money to spend, so let's go ahead and look at what we can spend that on. Uh, Velathri, I'm going to upgrade you. I'm going to put a villa in you uh, <laughs> um, because we need to get some food on the go. At the moment we only have six. Uh, and we're going to upgrade you as a town. And we're going to save up to build a port in Neapolis, a harbour, a safe place. So that's going to give us lots of money. Right, at the moment we're researching the first military technology. Then we need to research the second military technology and then the third. But that's fine. So, oh, pardon me. Um, let's go ahead and, and turn. And once again, I won't make you watch that happen. Okay, so strength, our wisdom, together would achieve great things. Of course it would, Mr. Sparta. So they're asking us for a defensive alliance and only a hundred for it. So that sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and do that. Defensive alliance with Sparta is a nice thing. You have a good mind in your skull. Your decision here is most excellent. I thought so too, most Sparta. Research complete, supply reforms, that's good. Uh, agent recovered, the spy, war target available, Rome. Um, yes, our spy ended up getting wounded right at the beginning, so let's go ahead and use her. Where is she? She is over here. Good, she started off over there, because I want to send her over here to have a look at Aramin, Ar Ariminum. Ariminum. Cool, Ariminum is open for the taking, so let's go ahead and take the Ariminum. Oh, we can't. We can only just get there, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, I don't want to spend too much money in Velathri at the moment, so I'm thinking Neapolis, let's go upgrade you to the port to get some money, sell some goods. Troubled populace in Italia, troubled populace in Magna Gratia. Cool, people are pissed. Faction encountered them, character or trait, likes Greeks, not quite right. It's fine, liking Greeks is good. Household expands, slums, oh, I forgot that I built somewhere in Brindisium, so we need to dismantle those slums. Um, and build something there next turn, preferably a happy place. Let's go ahead and take this army into Consentia because it's going to quell some of the rebellion there. Not much, but some. Um, it's better than doing nothing. So, so, I think it's time to think about doing stuff. Apparently we can still uh, build, expand city in Consentia. So let's have a look at that. I love this effect. Uh, there we go. So it's a little bit bigger. So we can build something there. So we're going to have to build something in Cosentia and Brundism next turn. So that's fine. Um, faction encountered. Who are these guys? De Orsi. Let's have a look at them. But first, let's get the research on the way. There we go. Manipulate barracks. Then we can up, um, uh, unlock the Principes. Right. De, de. Here we go. Oh, you're not too fast. You're, you're all right. Let's go ahead and get a non-aggression pact with you. Nope. Okay. You're not happy about that. Um, Sparta, we are friends with you. How about full-on military alliance? 
they want this as a sign of accord reached and new accords to come. I'll do that if it's military alliance. It is a simple gift, gold, but one that many appreciate, as mm. we are sure you will. We take away the payment, we'll do it. No, okay, fine. You don't want military alliance, that's alright. How about Athens? Military alliance? Bless us both with skillful uh, they want a defensive alliance. Okay. Like so I have a defensive alliance with Athens and Sparta. That's cool. Um, I think Epirus has pissed at us because they're currently at war with those two states. That's fine. Right, and that's me done for now, I think. Uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and get rid of all this stuff. So, I think that's it for this turn. Yes, that's fine. Roma, we're good. Um, how many? Let's have a look at this. Oh, I really need to get myself another. Yeah, we can't actually do any of this. We need to wait for them to have more than one character, and then we can hire them to be uh, for ourselves. Armies, we have three armies, or one fleet. It's fine. We don't really have enough money to hire another army so our food. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. Chicka chicka, boom, and turn. Alliance forged forge between the Ardei and the Diorsi, that's good, because that may, maybe the Diorsi kind of look at the good relations between us and the Ardei and go, oh, maybe they're not so bad after all. Hidden Agent exposed, that's fine. Let's get my fleet to come up here and see if we can find some more factions. There we go, one. And that's it. Okay, one faction. The Delmeti, let's, uh, let's go ahead and... Talk to them, see how they are. Del Mete. We could trade with them if we can get a non-aggression pact going. We will speak together of whatever you wish, <clears throat> but bring words that can warm our hearts. Okay, we'll bring words that can warm your hearts. They want us to join. Give our people a little gold. You have much, and our people do not wish to become the slaves of envy. Yeah. Well how about a non-aggression pact? And a trade agreement. For that money. Uh, yes, well, I don't really want you to join the war. I'm okay with the war. So, how about a non aggression pact? And we'll change that down to 250. Jesus, you're useless. Like, seriously. <clears throat> Why don't you want a trade agreement? How about a non-aggression pact with 500? Okay, and how about a trade agreement? Cool, there we go. Trade agreement and a non-aggression pact. That's worth it, because in five turns uh, we'll have made the money I spent back, so that's fine. That's a long-term investment. There we go. Everything's looking good. We've got lots of money coming in from trade. There we go. Our money is looking pretty good. Now let's get this fleet on its way down the coast and off around here to well, let's start discovering some more factions. What can we do over here? Well, let's go ahead and chuck us into a battle. The first battle I fought, we was fun and we owned them. So I guess I'll have to. F this is the real first battle. We have, so I should probably show against the garrison troops over here. So let's go ahead and fight that on the battlefield, and hopefully you'll be uh, <laughs> showing my style of you. Weather conditions, uh, rain. I don't want to fight in the rain. Let's fight in the dry. Thank you very much. That's basically how I operate, unfortunately, so people can deal with it. Um, where's the best place to attack? I think... I'm not sure. Where do I want to attack from? I want to attack from a nice open side... This is nice and open, that's going to favour my army. Admittedly I'm in his trees to begin with, that's just going to cover my approach. Stop doing that Steam, I'm not pressing tab and yet it's opening up that overlay. That's really annoying, I hope they fix that bug um, sooner rather than later. Right, let's get you guys, so you're using... I have no idea why the game's thinking that they need to have echoes. Let's get you guys all nicely lined up. I just ordered you. 
That was confusing. And you there. There we go. And let's get you guys to march forward. Well, I might as well get you to run forward. Let's find some of the enemies. Their ships, apparently, are just coming in to the port. And the rest of the army seems to be there waiting for them. So then it's them jumping off. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up to watch my so my army can get there. In you come. Good, good. Let's keep going. I don't know why my, my general seems to run all the time. Didn't tell him to run. Let's just charge out right in front of the army and get killed. You know what? You just go ahead and do that. Silly cavalry. Now, I don't know why the AI does this. It's very strange. They get them off the boats, but then they run them over here. And every single time I do a battle in this sort of map and they have boats coming in, they do it. So, I've, I don't know why. It's strange. It really is. Come on, let's get you there. I know why. I told my general uh, to run, or not. I didn't tell him not to run when I told everyone else to not run. That was strange. But yes, basically, the, the, how these Roman armies worked is these velites, these uh, skirmishes here, were basically the, the kind of the poorer, lo lower class of citizens. They kind of had their own. They had to bring their own armaments, and quite often it was just like a, a rubbish shield, and more often than not, not a shield. Some had swords, most just had kind of spears and javelins, and they would skirmish with at the front of the army, and then once battle was engaged, they'd go to the to the wings and, and run with the cavalry. Then you had these kind of medium class of uh, the kind of the second class of, of folk who came into Hastati, and they brought their kind of like chest armor. They could afford the shields, the swords, the helmets, and they came in and formed part of that. And then finally you had the upper class, so this is the, uh, oh, what they call called, the, the equites, yeah, here we go. It wouldn't say it, but yeah, equites were the, the, the upper class. So let's go ahead and throw my units forward. They don't appear to be coming up to me, so I'm going to just go ahead and run my army up to, to them. Uh, which, it makes sense, and they're not coming to me, because you know what, I'm attacking. Let's have a look at what they've got. They've got some Italian spearmen there. Some mob ready to behind the Italian spearmen to hold me off. A couple of levy slingers. It's good they've got them back there because they have they can outrange my skirmishers. Then they've got levy skirmishers and levy skirmishers. That's okay. We can deal with that. I think I'm not sure how I'm going to structure my later armies in this map, but I'm not sure I'm going to have large skirmishing components. I think I might switch over to having purely heavy infantry and cavalry. Uh, the Romans weren't like their skirmishers weren't their strongest point. It, the, their strongest point was their their infantry. Even their cavalry wasn't that great. So I'm gonna use my use the, use those advantages while I can. Go on, you go mob. Some more Italian spearmen facing the wrong way. Italian spearmen and Italian spearmen. All right, well we can deal with them, can't we? So let's get let's get to them before they start throwing stuff at us so we're almost within range if I run them up to here they will be in range so let's go ahead and do that let's get them up to about there there we go let's get that line let's get my infantry so they're right behind them ready to engage and my general let's get him in fact you know what let's get my general around here might as well use my general to carve up these levy skirmishers Get, get my general over here. Right, come on, you guys. Uh, oh, hello. He's just charged straight in with his general. So, that's fair enough. Right, well, you guys, apart from you, can all run up and start skirmishing. And you guys can just form up behind them. And throw quickly before they charge at you. Right, General, let's get you around there and ready to smash into the skirmishers. Right, second line. Suppose we should get you to charge in. Let's just smash into them. I think it's time to just charge in. Take the fight to them. Well, guys, smash in. 
Right, skirmishers, let's get you. Oh dear, they're hitting my general. That was stupid. I stopped watching for a second and they're taking out my general. Alright, let's get you in to engage these skirmishers. Let's get you guys in to charge in as well. Uh, this was not how you're meant to do this fight. I, I made a big mistake by letting my general just get slaughtered there. So I'm going to let him take out those skirmishers. Now these skirmishers as well. Let's break them completely. Smash them, and you guys can smash these guys. In you go. Let's have a look at that fight, shall we? Okay, they're all sorted. Let's have them come in here. So they're going to chase these ones down. Uh, however, I've clearly won this fight here, so let's go ahead and charge these units over here. So how's this going? I love looking in this mode, it looks so good. So they're all just starting to run. I think I may have just won this battle. No, nope, they've not routed yet. So here we go. And this is them, my men smashing into them. Look at that. Stab, stab, stab. Smacking with his shield. Slice. Oh, wow. He cut his stomach open there. Don't ask me why the uh, the sound is all weird. For some reason, the uh, the sound isn't there. Wait, how's the army here? Good. Let's just come in from behind and smack into these guys. And I think that's actually the victory. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I lost a few more men than I should have since it was a garrison army, but pff, never mind. There we go, a decisive victory over the Etruscans. So we'll nab that settlement as well, thank you very much. And once again, my commander's killed. This is not looking good. Like, every per every commander I've sent out has died so far. So they've been dying. Here we go, Imperium. I didn't actually click OK to that. Right, let's have a look. So... Spies, we can get two spies, two dignitaries, two champions, armies, six armies, four fleets. So, firstly, this army, uh, can we, in Araminium, can we? Yes, we can. So let's go ahead and recruit. We can't recruit a champion until we get Manipular Organization. That's interesting. Okay, so first off, in these guys, we need to upgrade some buildings. So, Crescentia, let's m get you a villa. Let's get you a happy place. So they want to rebel less. Velatri. We can't do anything else. We don't have enough money to. And yeah, we don't have enough money. Okay, that's fine. So our, I think that's our mini I just yes, upgraded. There we go. You can see it going up there. Cool. That should be fine and good and dandy. Fleet is ready. Army is being built. Enemy are over here in Alalia, so that's fine. We can worry about them another time. How's Syracuse doing? They're all good. No more diplomatic relations, I think. No new people to talk to. No. Oh, Ven Veni. Yes. We found you, didn't we? You don't want a trade agreement, but why do you not want a trade agreement? How much is it worth? Okay, so it's 100, so I am paired to pay all the money I have left in this turn and they still don't want it oh they're so grumpy never mind get rid of that we have enough trade agreements already I mean if we look at where was it which bottom was it that brought that tab up there we go trade route there we go um trade route with Rome income 445 that's pretty good and the trade route over here will be Rome. Let's have a look at this trade route. Rome 222. So there's lots of trade coming in. I have a feeling this trade route, when we get into this, all of these factions down here, this trade route here is going to become very, very important. We're going to have to end up policing it to make sure no factions end up blocking it and taking it away from us. Because, yeah, trade is going to be important in this game. So let's go ahead and enter. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot we can issue an edict now. Roma. Uh, Romanization plus two conversion to Latin culture. That's always good. Let's get that so people get happy. Right. Uh, and turn. Research complete. Manipular organization. There we go. Awesome. So we can think about upgrading some stuff. Firstly, we need to build an aluminium. So we only have two happy places in Rome. It's probably worth building 
No, I can't build that for some reason. Hmm. Alright, it's probably worth building a food place then. Let's go ahead and build a harbor. Yes, for money. Because uh, we need that money income, so it's going to massively increase that. Right, war declared between Syracuse and Carthage. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Right, you two. Because Syracuse, that means you're going to want to try and take all of this over. That'll be interesting to see how that works. Household expands. Uh, general, cool. That's fair enough. Construction report, character trait report, unhappy populace in Italia. Um, but that's purely... Wow, really? Minus 62? I wonder why that is. Magnigration. But they're not really that unhappy. So once we keep building these happy buildings, which needs to be my focus next time, um, next turn, we, could, we should be fine. Right, let's get this army back over here. Um, and then we're going to get them on the boats and send them into the ocean to crush this force over here. Although it looks like we're going to end up actually having to recruit some more men. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's recruit some more units. Um, let's get some, well, one more unit then. <laughs> Cost 500 apparently. Right, research. Let's go ahead and upgrade that so we can upgrade. So we've got the manipular balance. We can, we can upgrade that, but then we need... Uh, that one for the cohort barracks, which gets legionaries, so that's what we really want. But we do need to get some of the civil places done, um, so we can get the... Huh. There we go, irrigation ditches, but that's a while away. We need to get that earlier, so rather than later. Later? Sounded very nerdy there. Let's, but let's go ahead and get the auxiliary barracks to begin with. Right, uh, I guess it's time to end turn. And, I think... Yeah, let's go ahead and enter for now. And yeah, there we go. So we've got a bunch of construction reports, unhappy populace, household expands, household expands, plus one authority, that's pretty good. Uh, cool. Um, troops recruited, yeah, because we recruited them last time. Let's get them down here to the point where they can actually get on boats. That's going to be here. Oh no, it could have been up there. Never mind, we'll get into Rome because we need to protect Rome more. Than anything else, and we'll recruit some more units. So, how many can we recruit? We can recruit three at a time. Uh, once those units are recruited, we're going to take them over and we're going to attack that army. Um, let's upgrade this to uh, the manipular barracks so we can get the principes, and then all our money's disappeared. That's a pity. Right, let's get this fleet onwards with its journey into the unknown. So it's not going to discover any new places anytime soon, but it should push and get them closer to the point where they can. As you can see, our money is steadily increasing with all the buildings we're doing. Right, and these, uh, yeah, the general happiness is kind of increasing as well. Um, Syracuse doesn't look to be winning any sort of war at the moment. They still haven't taken the Libyan, so uh, that'll be interesting. And Alalia is gar gathering a horde, the serpents of Tukulka, to come and attack me. You know what? Legio 2, the second legion, is the one I've been using most, isn't it? Um, and Legio, the first legion, is the one I haven't been using. Eh, that's fine. Um, so Augusta, let's give them, let's give them better names. I'm sorry, I I know it's silly, but I like I like naming them myself. So second legion. The, the, um, oh, I don't know. Oh, now I've said this, I can't think of a name for them. So let's think, okay, so so they're from, they're my main legion. Let's call them, uh, the Randy, uh, Red. What, really? They have capitalized, capitalized. That's funny. The Randy Red. Rangers? No, not Rangers. The Randy Red. R what begins with R and is awesome. The Randy Red. Rangers. No, I don't like Rangers. I don't like Rangers. R R R R R Romans. The Randy Red Romans. No, let's go with Rangers for now because I can't think of anything else. But if I think of anything else, I'm going to change it. There we go. Oh, a household. Let's go and upgrade that. Loaded dice. I like the morale. Let's go get the morale for all units. Why can't I do this? 
not letting me do it. Let's go ahead and go back. I don't like that sigil. Let's get a better sigil than that. The eagle. There we go. The eagle sounds good. And you, loaded dice. Not letting me do it. Why not? In transit. Oh, I'll take it back next turn. Cool. Um, <clears throat> what was I going to do? There was something I was going to do. I can't remember. Never mind. Oh, yes. Check out. Can I secure a promotion? Um, I don't think I can at the moment. That's fine. We can deal with that. Right. I think that's going to be the end of this episode. But I'm going to need to end turn because it's in leg legendary difficult mode so before for it to save. So I'll end turn and we'll have a look at what the state of things are in play and then we'll end the episode. Okay. So the faction joins war. Athens is now at war with Epirus as well as Sparta. That's interesting. And the faction rises. Boy. Where is Boy? That's not up there. Okay. So that's, that's kind of Germania. Um, quartermaster's report, a bunch of Vestati for that legion, so there we go, that legion is now looking much more powerful. There we go, the second legion, the Randy Red Rangers. You know what, that's growing on me, that name is definitely growing on me. Where is their army disappeared to? Um, where is the Etruscan League's army? I can't see it and it's making me nervous. It was there and it was a horde and now I can't see it anymore. Right, well, we can't do anything because I'm going to end turn, but that's going to be interesting. Next turn, I'm going to need to try and find out where that army's disappeared to. So, um, for now, I'm off, but I'll see you again next time. Thank you very much for watching.